So how do you fix Achilles tendonitis if you have pain here or here? Well, I'll show you three simple but effective exercises that I would do as a physical therapist uh, so you can start feeling better and get back to running and doing whatever you want to do. All right, so first exercise I would do to fix Achilles tendon pain is an isometric heel raise. So basically you're doing a heel raise but just holding one position. So the way I would do it is I would place my foot that doesn't hurt on the chair and then I would raise my heel just barely off the ground, maybe just like an inch or two, uh, just to engage those calf muscles in the Achilles tendon. Then I would hold that for 30 to 45 seconds and then do that three to five times. Uh, so basically this warms up the tendon, uh, it gets those muscles activated and then it reduces pain. Uh, so this exercise should give you some short term but significant pain relief. And then now that it's feeling better, then you can work on some other exercises to improve the Achilles tendon. If you get that quick pain relief, let me know in the comments. But then if that gets easy, uh, then you can add some weight to make it a little more challenging. So, so you can grab some dumbbells in each hand and then do the exercise. And, and that's why I had one foot on a chair as opposed to just balancing on one leg, just to allow you to have some balance while you're uh, doing this exercise. But that's not all there is to rehabbing Achilles tendonitis. If you want long-term relief, then you're going to have to do this next exercise. The second exercise I would do to fix Achilles tendonitis is slow heel raises. So the key word is slow. You want to do maybe three seconds up and three seconds down. Maybe you start off with three sets of 10, nice and slow. Ideally, you want to add some weight to it to make it more heavier. Um, because the research is showing that heavy, slow resistance uh, is good for fixing Achilles tendinopathy. Now there is some nuance to the type of Achilles tendinitis or ten tendinopathy that you have. If, so if your pain is in the middle of that tendon, that's called a mid-portion Achilles tendinitis. If you have pain at the heel, then that's more of an insertional Achilles tendinitis. And there's differences in how you would treat it uh, just a little bit. So if you have more of a mid-portion Achilles tendonitis, you can go more into dorsiflexion or more of a bent ankle, uh, so in a deeper range. Whereas if you have uh, an insertional Achilles tendonitis, you actually don't want to go uh, deep into that range uh, yet because that just adds a lot more compression uh, to the tendon and around that heel bone, it gets irritated more easily. So you want to start off more neutral and then maybe down the road in the future, you could possibly work into those deeper ranges without pain. All right, so the third exercise is doing a calf stretch. Pretty simple, but there's, there's a little nuance to it again. All right, so you're going to stand at a wall you're gonna place one foot back with that foot facing directly forward. You're gonna keep your heel down and your knee straight, and then you're going to lean forward, and that's gonna bend your ankle, and you'll feel that stretch on the back of your calf there. Uh, you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna repeat this three times. So the idea is that if the calf muscle is too tight, then it'll add extra stress and extra compression on that Achilles tendon, especially where it attaches at that heel bone. So if you have a mid-portion Achilles tendonitis, there's nothing really to be too worried about. But if you have an insertional Achilles tendonitis where it's, the pain is at that heel bone again, uh, then you actually wanna make sure you're doing more of a light stretch. You add a lot of compression in addition to tension on that Achilles tendon. And then if you do it too aggressively, then I suspect that you could possibly aggravate or irritate that, um, that heel pain. So I would go light, gentle stretch, and then that should allow you to get the stretch and loosening of that calf muscle uh, without getting too irritable in that Achilles tendon. But if you wanna get back into running and jumping at a higher level, then you actually wanna do plyometrics and load that tendon kind of like a spring. And I'll make a video about that and put it right here. And hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video.